certified stepper, I'm the leader of this age. Jacksonville rapper and ATK affiliate Queso murder trial pushed back after he was indicted and charges upgraded to murder by gang member after Fulio's death. So you know what that mean. Get in the comments if you know what that mean. For the people that don't know how we got here, let me take y'all back. Queso was arrested for the murder of 23-year-old Charles McCormick, better known as Lil Buck. Lil Buck was leaving a job interview when Queso allegedly gunned him down right in front of a sheriff officer before taking him on a high-speed chase. That ended in a vehicle crashing. All three suspects fled in the scene. Two went one way and Queso allegedly went the other, getting away. The search is on for the two people who shot and killed this man in Arlington. This is a new picture of Charles McCormick Jr. given to Action News Jacks by his family. They say he was supposed to be starting a new job yesterday when he was killed. We first showed you this surveillance video of the suspects running through a backyard last night at 5. This happened after they crashed a stolen getaway car. Those men later got away after keeping a woman hostage inside her home for more than an hour. I'm John Bachman. I'm Tanika Hughes. Action News Jack's Elizabeth Pace has been on the story since she first found the woman who was held captive. Elizabeth is live in Arlington, and that woman told you that she's now worried the guys might come back for her. She's doing much better today and hopeful that police might be close to answers, but now the adrenaline has worn off and she's sore and just anxious that these guys might come back. This is a little bit of what they left over. This is where they crashed. That stolen car looks like part of the plastic bumper here, and then over here we see part of the headlight. Now, although this still sits here on the sidewalk and is a reminder of what happened yesterday, she says she's not going to let them run, them run her out of her own home. It all started at this store in Arlington, Express Employment Professionals. Police say someone shot up the store Wednesday morning, killing a young man. Today I learned that man was an up-and-coming music artist, 23-year-old Charles McCormick Jr. These are new pictures of him given to us by his family. They didn't want to go on camera, but told me they're crushed by his loss. He was supposed to be starting a new job that day. Before the suspects could get too far, they crashed their stolen getaway car about two miles on Townsend Boulevard. Neighbors gave me this home surveillance video that shows them running through yards and hopping a fence to get away from police. Then they chose a random woman's home to hide and change clothes. Okay, so what happened? They, so the, you just saw them all my of a house. They were in my house. Oh I my came gosh. out of the bathroom and they were in my house. We were getting video of the crashed car when I heard screams for help. She told me the two suspects just left her home after holding her hostage for an hour and a half. I helped her over to police and have checked in with her a few times since then. She says she's sore after trying to fight them off, but refuses to let them win. She's resilient. Um, never again. You never think anything like that's going to happen to you. And especially her. Kim was the first friend to find her. She also lives nearby. We've been putting it through our heads, all the different scenarios that could have happened. And we're just so thankful that she's alive. It could have went so many different ways. I've been talking to neighbors out here today and a lot of people are still on edge because they say those suspects could have easily broken into their houses as well. Now we do know that JSO detectives have been back out here collecting DNA and neighbors are hopeful that they'll make an arrest soon. Police said that he called his dad to pick him and the other two suspects up. That's how his dad was involved and charged with accessory after the fact. And this woman telling me People here, witnesses, saw the suspects leaving in a red vehicle. Okay, so dad will later turn against him and cooperate. In his dad's words, I can help him more if I was free than in jail with him. But more breaking news this afternoon, the father of Jacksonville rapper Queso will testify against his own son in a very high profile murder trial. This according to brand new court records first reported by First Coast News. On your sides, Ann Schindler broke the story just a short while ago and joins us from the newsroom. Now, Ann, this is a major development in a high profile murder case. 
Yeah, that's right, Keitha. I mean, anytime you have one family member testifying against another, that's a big deal. But in this case, in addition to being father and son, both are reputed members of a local gang that's typically ruled by the code of silence. Now, according to court records, the 51-year-old Abdul Robinson Sr. has agreed to cooperate, cooperate with pros prosecutors in a high-profile murder case in which both of his sons are charged. Prosecutors say that in January 2020, Hakeem Robinson, who performs under the name Queso, murdered Charles McCormick, who went by the name Lil Buck. Robinson Sr. was charged as an accessory after the fact in that crime and faced his own murder charge in a separate case. He faces 30 years to life, but if convicted, his cooperation with prosecutors could play a role at sentencing. Queso has helped popularize the genre known as murder rap, celebrating the violent deaths of gang rivals. He's also accused of the murder of Adrian Gaynor, AKA Bibby, whose name appears in the viral music video, Who I Smoke. Police and prosecutors say all three Robinsons are members of the gang known as ATK or ACES Top Killers. Now, Hakeem Robinson has pleaded not guilty. Uh, jail records show that his dad has been moved out of the Duval County Jail, presumably for his safety. Back to you. March 10th, 2021. Queso also was charged with KTA Bibby death, something Queso bragged about multiple times in his music and on lives. According to Jacksonville and Bibby dad, everyone knew Queso was the one that killed Bibby. A local mother says she's relieved to know someone has been charged in connection to her teenage son's murder. I'll never give up. I'm going to fight for my baby until, until I take and breathe my last breath. Adrian Gaynor Jr. was shot and killed in 2019. Investigators have now charged 22-year-old Hakeem Robinson with second-degree murder in his death. Robinson is a local rapper with gang ties who was already in jail, charged in a different murder. News for Jackson reporter Corley Peel joining us live from Duval County Jail, where he's being held. And Corley, the family feels that they charged Robinson at the right time. It's been a long two years for Adrian Gaynor's mother, who says she would stop by this police station frequently trying to get answers. Records show Hakeem Robinson actually almost bonded out. He was given a $1 million bond last month, but before he could get out, police charged him a connection to Gaynor's murder. For two years, Elizabeth Gaynor has fought for answers, hoping to get justice for her son, Adrian Gaynor Jr. I still don't sleep, I still don't eat. And they still don't bring my baby back. Last week, Gaynor's family learned Hakeem Robinson, also known as a rapper named Queso, was charged in her son's 2019 murder. Gaynor was 16 years old. I exhaled for the first time in two years. I could, I could actually take a breath for the first time in two years. I can finally get some sleep, knowing that they're out the street. Robinson has been in jail since September in connection to the 2020 murder of Charles McCormick Jr. Last week, he was served this arrest warrant for Gaynor's death at the Hilltop Village Apartments. The warrant shows a witness told police Robinson shot Gaynor at a close range in the back of the head or neck as he continued trying to shield himself. After the murder, investigators say Robinson posted several photos and videos bragging about Gaynor's murder. They tore up his grave, they spit on his grave, they urinated on his grave, they made fun of our rallies or whatever, they made fun of us marching, they mocked us every chance that they got. Gaynor's nickname was Bibby. His mother says Robinson named an album after her son called Bibby Out. His picture is on the cover with several other murder victims that she says is a diss. Robinson also wrote about Gaynor in his songs, using the lyrics, you know we smoke little Bibby. What was that like seeing that? Hell, that every video took my breath away. It took my family's breath away. My kids had to see that. My family had to see that. I need justice. He's behind bars, but guess what? We still need justice. Gaynor says she misses her son's smile and silliness. Now that there's an arrest, she will keep fighting until she gets justice for her son. Adrian Gaynor would have celebrated his 19th birthday on Friday. According to his arrest warrant, Hakeem Robinson is still in jail on a $3 million bond coming up tonight at 11. The violent drug trafficking gang investigators say he is linked to and the uh, how many other murders that this gang could possibly be affiliated with. But to make things worse, on Queso behalf, one of the suspects that was with Queso during the Bibby murder identify him as the person that shot and killed Bibby.
Since then, the police have found the gun that was used in one of the shootings with Queso fingerprint. Prosecutors will use the life of Queso and Young and Ace marking Bibby family marching in the streets for justice. Gainer's family says they're marching today for all victims of gun violence. It's too much, too much killing and it's too much gun violence. If everybody just put their guns down and we, why we all just can't get along instead of taking each other kids away. And what do you want Adrian to know? That we're here, we're not going anywhere. That bit what's that? Uh -huh. do that, do that, what's it? Do that. <laughs> they also will use lyrics from Queso's song describing how Bibby was shot and killed. Queso on his drill, take off his neck. Boy, you better not try to run, we chase a lead stretch. Smoking on us, I them killers can't like they was vexed. Slide through the six, hit them all up in his neck. <laughs> Just, just for the court, we do have three co-defendants that are coming out. Um, Abdul Robinson Jr., Hakeem Robinson are currently present for the podium, and Leroy Whitaker um, will be coming out in just a moment. Okay. And their attorney appearing? Uh, the attorneys for Abdul Robinson Jr. and Hakeem Robinson are on Zoom, and uh, Ms. Schlax represents uh, Mr. Whitaker. Okay. Good morning. Good morning, Judge. So nice to see you. Thank you. You too. And now that we have all three defendants, good morning, Your Honor. Good morning. Julie Schlack's appearing on behalf of Leroy Whitaker, who stands to my left. Also before the court, we have Hakeem Robinson, represented by uh, Christopher DeCost and Tara Kawas, who I believe are on via Zoom. And, good morning. And Mr. Abdul Robinson Jr., represented by Mr. Rear Jordan. Okay. Judge, since the last court date, um, all three of these individuals have previously been indicted. Um, the state did return to the grand jury um, to consolidate them all into a single indictment. Um, so that has been done. Um, so I believe they just need to be arraigned on the new indictment. And then I also know that um, Mr. Uh, DeCoste and Ms. Kawas filed a motion to continue last night. We have a trial date set in August. Um, there's some outstanding discovery that needs to be completed. I'm sure they can speak to that as well, or I can answer any questions um, if the court has it. Uh, but those are the two matters for this morning. Okay, and I do have the uh, unopposed joint motion to continue the trial where all three co-defendants are asking for the continuance. Your Honor, we do not have any objection. We would be available to move forward, but we understand that the cases will likely be joined, likely be joined, um, and we understand the trial will be continued. Okay, and is that the, uh, the attorneys for the other two gentlemen, is that your understanding as well? On behalf of uh, Hakeem Robinson, good morning, Your Honor, Tara Kawas. Uh, yes, that is the understanding as it relates to the uh, motion for continuance. Okay. And Jonathan Jordan, on behalf of Abdul Robinson Jr., who's present in the courtroom. Um, thank you, Your Honor. Good morning. And that is correct. We are joining in on the request. We have no opposition uh, to resetting the trial date. And yes, there are outstanding depositions still left to be had. All right, I'm going to grant the motion to continue and strike the case from the August 19th jury trial calendar. Um, and you indicated we need to arraign on the indictment? Yes, Your Honor, there's a, um, a new indictment where all three co-defendants have been joined in that single indictment as um, A, B, and C defendants. Um, so that should be um, available this morning. I believe Ms. Schlax has a copy of hers. Um, I'm not sure. I, I do, Your Honor. I'm just looking at it for the first time and therefore would just stand mute as to the indictment. 
Okay, I'm sorry. Which gentleman do you represent? And I represent Leroy Whitaker. Okay, Whitaker. The last one. He's on pages 30 and 31. Yeah. I'll enter a plea of not guilty on his behalf. And as to the Robinsons, each of them, how do they wish to plead to the new indictment? And Your Honor, on behalf of Hakeem Robinson, we will enter a plea of not guilty and demand any additional discovery and ask that the case be set for trial. There's also an additional matter for Mr. Robinson. Your Honor, um, we are going to ask if he could be allowed to fill out another application for indigency status. I have prepared a motion to have him declared indigent for costs. However, the application for indigency status that he filled out in 2020 was during COVID and had a different case number and he was unable to sign it. So the Jack rejected uh, the application. I would just ask, since he's present in court, if he could just fill out that document so that I can continue with the, the motion to have him declared indigent. Um, I don't know, do we have the document that he would need to fill out? Yes, sir. Okay. And that's on um, Hakeem, is that correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Okay. And on Abdul Robinson? On behalf of Mr. Abdul Robinson Jr., we will uh, enter a plea of not guilty as to the new indictment, ask for discovery, a jury trial, and I will reserve on any objections or defects as, as it relates to the indictment on behalf of Mr. Robinson Jr. Okay, my intention today, per Judge Salvador's uh, instructions, I'm just gonna give it a pretrial date, and she will, at the next pretrial date, um, converse with all three uh, attorneys and their clients to uh, come up with an appropriate uh, jury trial date that works for everybody. I don't have that ability, so she'll do that at the next pretrial date. How long would y'all like these best for pretrial? Judge, um, my suggestion was going to be it's acceptable to everyone in the court. We are set for trial the week of August 19th to come back that week because we may either have some of those depositions completed or at the very least, my hope is that we have all of them kind of outlined. We know who they are. We can tell the court, this is the discovery process. This is all the witnesses that need to be deposed. This is when we're doing them. So we can then pick that trial date. That's realistic that there are no other conflicts and we can get it taken care of. Does so everybody agree since you already were scheduled for the 19th that we use that date? Certainly, Your Honor. Okay, all three uh, gentlemen will have their cases passed to August 19th for pretrial and a set jury trial date. Very good. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank yeah. you. And Your Honor, I do see that they're leading Mr. Hakeen Robinson out to the courtroom. I just want to ensure that he'll be able to fill out that document and have it filed with the court clerk. Uh, does he have the document? Oh, okay. He's already done it, yes. Thank you. Oh, perfect. Thank you so much, Your Honor. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you. Promo alert, promo alert, promo alert. Today is Speak With Your Girl, Marcella. Make sure y'all go follow her on Instagram. Subscribe to her YouTube channel. Hit that like button, comment, and let her know I sent you. She on her way to 12K, and she trying to get there by her birthday. Y'all make sure. Y'all go and hit that subscribe button. Tell me this. What channel that you can get the love and marriage tea? I'm talking about the TT. Y'all know she a whole celebrity out here in these streets. She know what's going on behind the scenes. So where you can go and get the love and marriage tea? Basketball wives tea. Love and hip hop tea. And she give you financial advice. Freaky financial Friday. Make sure y'all tap in. Also, yeah. She give you the latest tea that's going on in the YouTube streets. She also got a cooking show on her channel. 
and she gonna let you know what's going on with the government and the politics. What can you get all that in one channel? Nowhere but Miss Marcella. Speak with your girl Marcella. Make sure y'all go subscribe and turn on all post notifications. Hey. Hey, do me a favor. Look down right there to the bottom left and hit that like button for me. Hit that like button right there. I appreciate it. I continue watching. Promo alert. Promo alert. If you need promo, DM me on Instagram at music101ceo. $30 for one promo video on my YouTube. $50 for three promo videos on my YouTube, $70 for six promo videos on my YouTube, and $130 for 12 promo videos on my YouTube channel. Make sure y'all tap in and get that promo if you want to win.